What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have a look on the benchmarking test score results of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. It comes with the best and latest hardware specs and in this video we will see how much a score it's going to achieve in benchmarking test to get the idea that how good the performance of the device is going to be. Since this device comes with two different display, we have performed the benchmarking test on both of these inner and outer display and we will have a look on the test score results of both of them. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So first of all, let's start with the benchmarking test score result of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 with the outer display. So these are the benchmarking applications we got today here on our device. So first of all, let's start with Entity Benchmark. So it achieved 1.237285 million points in Entity Benchmark. If we go to the individual test score result here you can have a look on the test score result of this device for cpu gpu memory and ux and as you can see the performance of the device is pretty impressive if we go to the ranking tab and now if you have a look on the entity benchmark test score result with the inner display then it achieved 1.285887 million points so performance of samsung galaxy z Fold 5 for entity benchmark from the inner display is better compared to the outer display so let's go back from here let's have a look on the next test score that's going to be the 3d mark so here we got two tests solar bay and wildlife extreme and for the outer screen the score for solar bay is 5569 and for wildlife extreme it is 3883 if you go to the detailed score you can see that on average it achieved 21 fps in solar bay and in wildlife extreme it achieved 23.25 fps and compared to other devices its performance was better than 90% of the devices. Now, if we swipe down, you can see we have performed two more Solar Bay and Wildlife Extreme tests, and these are for the inner display. So, for Solar Bay, the score is 5638, and the average frame rate is 21.44. So, the difference is not much, just slight difference in terms of a score. And in Wildlife Extreme, it's the same, it's 3813. So the performance is a bit better for Solar Bay but a bit low in Wildlife Extreme for 3D Mark benchmarking test on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now if you go back from here and let's have a look the last test that's Geekbench 5 and here you can see once again we have performed the test on inner display as well as on the outer display. So here you can see that for the cover screen in single core Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 scored 1544 and for multi core 5241 and when it comes to inner display Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 scored 1451 in single core and 5205 in multi core. So this time the performance of the device is better from the cover screen if you go to the compute once again, you can see that difference between the score we are getting this time performance of inner display is better compared to the cover screen as Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 with the inner display scored 10,820 and 10,391 with the cover screen. But as you can see that in all of these three benchmarking tests, performance of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is not much different between the cover screen and the inner screen. The only major difference we are getting from the entity benchmark but does not matter on which display you use your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 you will get the brilliant performance in any case. So that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day.